Do you know why you're here? Do you know what this is about? I'm not sure yet, but I think we're going to find out soon. What the Russians want is nothing less than world domination. Communism is a religion, a faith like any other, with a holy text and saints and martyrs. The Russians see themselves as crusaders in a holy war. Is there any reason you're not under your desk, Jack? I don't see the point. The point is to be ready. In the event of a nuclear attack on the Great Falls Air Force Base, which is the only military target within 500 miles, the initial blast would be jarring, but it wouldn't even break our windows. You don't take the threat of nuclear attack seriously, then? Hmm, on the contrary, sir. I believe that within three days of an initial attack, three-fourths of the world would have been destroyed. I don't see the point of hiding from that kind of destruction under a desk. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you White Shadow. <laughs> White Shadow comes to us after spending the last three years jumping through a flaming hoop at a sea show in Florida. Now hopefully, over time, as we come to know and understand these creatures a little better, we'll become more caring and compassionate in our behavior towards them. Here at the aquarium, it is our hope that we can bring you that one step closer to truly knowing another species. Any questions? Uh, once the dolphins uh, been in captivity, is it possible to return the animal to its native environment? Not in most cases. Although, of course, it depends on how long the animal has been away and under what conditions it was kept. But in most cases, once an animal has been taken, there's little hope of an uneventful return. What's the matter with them? Right now, what the dolphin are doing lower on the food chain, the norca, is blowing these little sonar bubbles that are called sonoluminescence, only just recently duplicated at MIT as a form of cold fusion. And that is their form of art. Man doesn't have a clue what we're doing here. And the consciousness part of it is so limited in terms of fear and ego that we miss the forest in the trees. And the, I've, I've seen videos of elephants painting themselves and their concept of self-image and how others would see them is far beyond that of men. I just get to this place where I feel like it is so totally out of my control, you know? I just don't see the point. I mean, it all ends anyway, right? So what bother? I mean, I get up every day. All I see is the end of the day. And I just, uh, I'm not into doing anything at all. I, I could use some help with that. When you play a song, when you're right in the middle, are you thinking about how the song ends? No way, no, that's all I can do to get through a song and just stay focused right where I am. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. In meditation, we learn the oneness of all things, the harmony that flows through nature. This is the same idea, stripped of the comforting notion of divinity that we find in science, more specifically in mathematics. One, one, two, three, five, eight. The Fibonacci sequence. One number added to the one before it makes the next number in the sequence, and from this sequence we get the golden mean. We find these numbers everywhere. Shells, nebulae, a spiral of a pine cone, beehives. DNA. God's equation, writ large across the heavens. The cow grazing contentedly in the meadow, the grass on which she grazes, the breeze that blows through all parts of the one. What? What are you looking at? 
You really think if you're cruel enough to other people, all your own misery will go away? No. Just keeps my mind off it for a while. Mr. Watson? Luke, when he died? He wasn't mad at you anymore. He wasn't. He knew. It was just one of those things that happens. He was growing up, and that was hard for you both. He loved you very, very much, Mr. Watson. And that's what he was thinking when he died. I just wish I could see him one more time. I wish I could tell him that I was sorry. He knows Mr. Watson. He knows. Nothing you do is going to change anything about what happened to you, Mr. Morrison. What are you talking about? That man in the woods when you were eight. The one that took you in that shed. He was just mean and crazy. You shut up about that. You're just going to hurt more people, that's all. It's not going to make what happened to you go away. It would be easier, wouldn't it? Blame it on them. They came down and took you. You stop it! It's a lot scarier to think that the monsters might be us. And that is basically what consciousness does, is it takes the possibilities or imagination and makes it reality. In other words, what we discovered is that all things that we perceive starts on the inside and is projected outward. In other words, it, it all starts with imagination and you create what we would call thought forms. And with that model for the way reality worked, we could make Superman by using that as an assumed truth. If you used that model or universe, then there were things that you could do. For example, in a holographic universe, that would make the brain a four-dimensional hologram of five space, because it's an amorphous semiconductor liquid crystal phases, that kind of thing. That means that you can change the movie. 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 superpowers that was a big one she could manipulate time whether that thought came from you or that thought came from somewhere else why are you choosing to hold it in your mind's eye 